Hello everybody, SCP Slayer here, and welcome back to the Backrooms, the Faithful Backrooms mod. I almost fucked up the name, I'm sorry. <sighs> um, so you'll notice that we were in a structure. This is actually, um, basically a laboratory that will now naturally generate in the world. And... There's a few variants of it that exist, and they all have, like, different stuff in them. Um, but they all have something to do with this this block here. And this block has something to do with how you get into the back rooms. So basically, all of these are, de these are destroyed laboratories. And if you go into this room, you'll find a chest that actually has stuff in it. And I think if you bust these, they... Never mind. I was thinking they might have items in them, and might they might if you're in survival mode, but <laughs> that hasn't been a limitation for other ones, so I don't know. There's also these two books and quills that actually have writing in them. So, we're going to go over the uh, lore that's in this specific structure. This is not the only structure, and this is, these are not the only lore books, there's more. So, blank of Erasia, Department of Blank. Classified, SI report, unknown date, Operation C-32, lead, unknown, something, location, unknown, span, unknown. Overview. Blank has reproduced the me mechanisms for blank of another blank on blank. This has been done through the use of reverse engineering, glass, morpheus, iron, and wood is needed to construct the machines. Mayforus? Mayforus? I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, another scientist has been impaled by another has been impaled by another due to a dispute both blank and blank have been eliminated. Well then, okay. J just a blank page. Crisis. Okay, that's a thing. Um, I never read this book. Blank of... Da -da -da, yep. Blank has demonstrated the blank of another on blank. This has been done due through the use of newly constructed material named Mephorus electromagnetic field through the use of Mephorus a generator and a launcher. One may blank Currently, no spares have been made. Mr. Unknown. Redacted. Uh, recently died of blank poisoning and his death has been hidden. Uh, from the public eye. Then just completely redacted page. Abort. So they aborted the mission... And also had a crisis. I'm guessing the. I'm guessing I read those in opposite order that I should have. <laughs> um, but yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't able to find any of the other structures, other than if I go over this way, there's like one that's like even even worse condition, but it's the exact same structure, so it has the exact same books. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys what they were building now. It's a very simple structure. It's a 4x4 four four portal. Is it facing the right way? That is not the right way. I'd look north. This way. Must be facing north. Why, why they're fucked up. Wasn't facing the right way. I pushed F1. My bad. Yeah, you have to build this facing north. 
with this and this. And not a light is it. Now there is one other function that I'm gonna show you after I turn this on. Because it also th this is one way to get into the get into the uh back rooms, but there is one other way that has a chance of working. This one is a guaranteed thing. Here's the receipt. And it gives you an achievement when you do it. So if I turn on the generator, boom. There's the way into the back rooms. Also, how long does this last? 243 seconds. Alright. Now I'm gonna show I'm gonna try the other way, but it probably won't work. If I push N, it says attempting to no clip. Unsuccessful. Alright, so yeah, you have a chance of no clipping through that, or you can just use this portal. And boom. Loading dimension. There we go. And boom! We're in the back rooms again. We're in level zero again. Which I believe has some new stuff, but also hasn't really been updated much. Now, what the main big things about this update are is two levels. One that's been updated and one that's been added. So we're going to go to the first one first, because it'll lead us to the second one. So we're going to do slash execute in the metro. Run TP. Now we're just going to do the squiggly lines, because that's easier. And boom. Welcome to the metro. But you'll notice... It's very different from last time. It's insanely different, in fact. And you'll notice that that platform is not going to be empty forever. Boom! Train appeared. Yes, the train is added. What is this? It's an elevator door. I'm guessing they're going to add an elevator to get in? That'd be cool. So yeah, there's this entire dimension now. It's actually pretty big. And actually just generated more. Hello. Ah, oh, but it did end. Ah, oh, wait. The train went away. Alright, now we gotta wait for the train to return. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this got major upgrades and way more interesting. I actually really like this level now. It's super detailed and there's actually like trash cans and everything. There's an entire fucking platform and it's not just one small area. Oh. I hear it. I think I hear it this time. That's on the train. Yep, that was the sound of the train. So yeah, if you step onto it, you get first off you get sent into survival mode for some fucking reason, but you now get on the train. And of course, you can store items in the compartments and shit. And I don't know if they're going to have loot in the compartments at some point, which would be cool, but. Uh, there's like all these chairs. As you can see, this is really fucking detailed. I actually really like it. Like, holy crap. This mod lives up to the name, lives up to the name Faithful Backrooms. Uh, that is for damn sure. I would definitely call this Faithful. This is so fucking cool. And if you go through here, suddenly you get... Here! Yeah, I'm sure many of you can guess what this is. This is the Terror Hotel. This is... This is level 5. 
And no, they have not completed level 4 yet. They're still working on that. But clearly, they did a, an amazing job with level 5, so they're going to do an amazing job with level 4. I can already tell you. They don't have all of the rooms yet. They don't have, like, the big ballroom or anything. They have two parts of it. So level 5 is still not fully complete. But it is here. This is the lobby area, so we, all they're missing is the big ballroom and a few others. But level 5 is here. It is. It does exist. If you go through any of these doors... I gotta show you how to go through this one. It'll take you to the only other part that exists right now, which is the rooms. And as you can see, there's like all these. When they add the ability to traverse the levels in survival mode, you're probably going to be able to like make a base in here, which would be really cool. I don't think any of these blocks are going to be breakable. Well, other than the carpet. But, uh, yeah, as you can see, you're gonna be able to, like, live in level 5. Which would be a very nice change. Also, I'm imagining some of these walls are gonna be replaced with, like, doors here. So you can get back to the main lobby area. As you can see, there's, like, different variants of the rooms. Like, this one looks completely different from the last one we were in. I just got lucky, because sometimes they look exactly the same. <laughs> Except for the color of the beds. And this one looks even more different. This one doesn't even have beds. But yeah, clearly, there's, there's a lot here. And you can't sit in chairs for some reason. I don't totally know why. Uh, but, yeah. Damn, I think this is about all there is in this update. Uh, I'm trying to think on anything else they might have added. No, they didn't add anything else really big. Oh, wait, what's this? Wait, did they actually add a way back? What? Did they? Wait. I haven't seen this yet. What is this? Is this the boiler room? Oh, they added stairs. Hello. What the hell? I'm sorry, I've just discovered this. I didn't know this existed. What the hell is this? Did they make the boiler room a part of this area? It's gotta be the boiler room, isn't it? It's the only place that I, that I think would be this. What is this? Hold on, slash game mode. Uh, creative place. What the hell? It's gotta be the boiler room. It's gotta be. That only feels like it's leading to, like, level 6. Yeah, there it goes! Suddenly I'm in level 6. Okay. I did not know that existed. Okay, that's new. So there's more to that level than I thought there was. I apologize for just assuming. Um, based off of, like... 30 minutes of running around a backrooms level that, that, that had found its end. Which is, in fact, incorrect. Apparently there is a there is the boiler rooms. It's just sitting in the... Dang. Holy shit, that just fucked with my head. <laughs> okay, so you can leave level 5. That's interesting. Holy shit, they added... I am so intrigued. <laughs> Hold on. I have to go back there now. Where's level 5? There it is. TP, TP. There we go, there we go. Um, okay, where the fuck did I wind up? 
know where the fuck I am. Oh yeah, it took me to fuck to robot. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have to fly through this real quick. I want to see. Is the ballroom actually here and it's just hidden in here or what? That is so interesting. Holy shit, hold on. There's more of this than I had realized. That is actually really cool. Gosh, there's so many different things. And I know that there's, like, secret stuff in, like, level zero as well. Which is fucking awesome. Because, holy shit, I did not expect... I really did not expect to find that. I was about to start those, like, end of the review. And then all of a sudden I see that there's, like, it's an entire... Yeah, here it is again! This is different. Wait. What is this? No, this is the same thing. This is, a, this is just a different version of it. Oh, fuck. My brain. My brain hurts. Holy shit. Um. Okay, what's on the sec- what's on the second level, then? Is it just the same stuff? Just higher up, or what? What's up, what's up here? What's up here? Slightly more swanky, uh... More swanky little areas. Uh, no good. No, it's the same. Same stuff. Same room generation. Is there more stairs somewhere? I'm I'm not sure how far this goes. I would go spectator, but I'm pretty sure that wouldn't help. At all. You know what, I'll try Spectator. How fucking high does this go? Holy shit. Okay. Spectator 3 literally just looks like a fucking... It definitely looks like it's a... There's hidden rooms? Either that or a door was supposed to generate there and it didn't. That's another possibility. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be doors here, but they're just not generating. <laughs> Man, Jesus, there's like three floors to this. I don't see anything different other than the fact that there's a boiler room on like the bottom floor, but still. Kind of curious what happens if you find the stairwell to the top floor. Uh, dear God, this goes on forever. I love that this just naturally generates. The mod developer has to be some kind of mad genius in order to fucking do this complicated of a structure generating infinitely. And it's not even lagging. That that's the funny part. I like I m don't mind that one lag spike, but other than that, it's just it's not lagging. It's not lagging. It's very clean and very nice, and it's just fucking cool. Oh my god, this is just awesome! Holy shit! Oh man, I'm gonna have to end. I'm gonna have to end my recording here. But um, damn, I'm gonna have to like actually explore these dimensions more. That is cool. All right. Um, if everyone has enjoyed, um, if you wish to join the ranks of the SCP Foundation, don't forget to shoot that like button, slay those comments, and contain that subscribe button. Anyway, guys, I'll see you all in this video live stream or whatever I do next. Peace.